everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you lots of cleaning motivation as I tackle my entire house. For those of you who are new here, my name is Danielle. I'm a full-time high school counselor. My husband and I have three boys who are currently running around making all kinds of noise, so I apologize if you hear anything in the background. Our house is pretty much always chaos and keeping our house clean is a daily struggle. Filming these videos has really helped me to stay on top of my daily chores and maintain a clean home. I'd love it if you'd hit that subscribe button and also click on the bell so that you get notified whenever I post new videos. That way you can join me for some weekly cleaning motivation. Also head over to my Instagram page and give me a follow over there. So now we're just going to go ahead and jump right in and I am starting on the lower floor doing the dishes. So lately I've been trying to make sure that I empty the dishwasher every morning so that we can put dirty dishes in the dishwasher throughout the day. Uh, that really goes a long way towards making it look like our kitchen is clean. So that is something I'm trying to stick with. I've been doing pretty well so far. We'll see how things go once I go back to work in August. But I'm thinking about the way you Alright, so once I have the dirty dishes put away, I am wiping down the counters. Normally, I don't do this in the morning. However, I had failed to do it the night before, so there were some uh, like greasy spots on the counters. I just wanted to make sure I got cleaned up so that I started with a nice fresh kitchen for the day. And I'm just using some Mrs. Meyers all-purpose um, in the mint scent and I'm using a cleaning cloth from Amazon that is linked down below. Now I'm just going to give the table a quick wipe down before I move on to the other rooms. Uh, this is pretty much a useless endeavor because as soon as Caden sits down to eat breakfast, it will be just another massive mess to clean up. Again, I thought we'd never fall. Could have tried much harder. All we had was scars. You said we'd get so high, higher up than heaven. So before I move into the living room, I'm just going to go ahead and start my Roomba so that it can be working on the hardwood floors while I'm straightening up the rest of the house. Um, 
for the living room, I really just needed to pick up a couple blankets that were laying around and I noticed that there was some stuff on our table. So I decided to go ahead and wipe that down. Most of the downstairs was already clean from the day before. Um, it had, however, been a while since I had wiped some of the surfaces. So now I'm just going to clean the table for our entryway. And I noticed some spots on the walls from the kids walking around with food and stuff like that. Um, moving into the playroom, all of their toys were already picked up from the night before. So I just wiped some stuff down in the, in the playroom and then moved on into the office. Strangers again. So once I have finished doing the rest of the cleaning that I needed to do, I went ahead and pulled out the vacuum just to run the vacuum over all the carpeted areas downstairs. Um, we do have quite a few pets. We have a dog and three cats. So I really try to vacuum every day to cut down on the amount of pet dander that's throughout the house. Shrugging your shoulders, I'm closed off That's what I told you Soon enough, everything started to change Cause there's no going back, no going back There's no going back to your own life Not Living in the past, we're over that I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying high For those of you who have seen some of my other videos, you may notice that we have moved our desk in the office. It is now directly in front of the window. This opened up the back wall for us to be able to move my piano into the house. It is currently in the garage and I um, really want to get it out of the garage and into the house because it was a piano that I inherited from my late Mima back when I was four years old. So I've had it for a long time. It's sentimental and I really wanted to find a space to be able to put it into the house. Right now I am just going to vacuum each of the steps and then we are going to move upstairs for the rest of the cleaning. Um, the upstairs required quite a bit more work than the downstairs. No going back, no going back, there's no going back to your own life. No living in the past, we're over that, I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying high. Starting in my bedroom, one of the first things that I always do is pull up our blackout shades so that I can open the blinds and let in some uh, fresh natural sunlight to brighten the room up. And then I am just going to move into making our bed.
eyes So we recently started working out. My husband has been using some free weights and I've been using this Body Boss 2.0 gym uh, that uses resistance bands and also this weighted hula hoop and been doing a little bit of yoga. So for the most part, I am storing most of this under our bed and then a few pieces in the closet. Um, but having it somewhere that it's easy to get to is going to make me more inclined to work out and working out is definitely one of the things that I need to stay on top of for my own health and my heart condition. All right, now that I've gotten everything pretty much picked up off the floor, I'm just gonna go in with my Mrs. Myers and wipe down our bedside tables and the dresser and uh, I'm also going to use some uh, window cleaner and clean my vanity and our mirror. Now I'm moving into our bathroom. The only thing I'm really cleaning in here is the counters and the mirror. I'm saving the toilets and the tubs for my husband who is more capable of, you know, really getting down on his hands and knees and scrubbing everything. So once I finished up in the bathroom, I went ahead and pulled out the vacuum cleaner to vacuum this room. Um, you can kind of see some of the tufts of cat hair floating around. Um, this is one of the reasons why I really have to vacuum daily.
Before I move into any of the boys' bedrooms, I'm just going to go ahead and vacuum the hallway. And you'll see me dump our vacuum several times because it had been a couple days since I vacuumed. Normally when I vacuum daily, I can vacuum the entire upstairs without having to dump the canister. Now I am moving into my youngest son's room. Caden's room is normally the cleanest out of all of the boys. He doesn't really have any toys in his room. Most of his toys are downstairs in the toy room. And he's pretty much only in his room for bedtime and nap time. So I normally don't have too much to do in here. Just pick up a few little pieces of things. Put away some pull-ups and wipes. And then I'll just go ahead and vacuum the floor and make his bed up. Looking for someone who can play though, wanna hang with me I'm not really looking for a friend so spend your time with me Looking for someone not afraid of, give it all to me Get next to me, get next to me, all that I want to Get next to you, get next to you, not asking for much but it feels like the two of us are golden or gold You see, what do you got so take a chance, take a chance So one of the last videos that I posted before I took a break from YouTube was the makeover of this room and building Caden's bed. So this is my first official clean with me in Caden's big boy bed. Um, you'll see me right now just zipping up his beddies, which I absolutely love. Uh, for my family, I think they were worth the money. Um, if you don't have the money, I do believe there's some cheaper options, but I don't really know too much about those. Right now I am moving into my middle son's room. Um, like the other rooms, I'm just going to go ahead and start by pulling those blackout blinds up so that I can open his blinds and um, just going to make his bed. And I think he only had a handful of things on the floor. Normally Grayson's room is probably the most work for me. He has some toys in his closet that get pulled out a lot. Um, we'll have neighbors come over and their kids will go upstairs and play with him. Um, so his room normally requires a lot of work. On this particular day, it wasn't terrible. So I just had to make his bed and vacuum. So now I'm moving into my oldest son, Gabriel's room. This is a room that I don't often show on here because he is, for the most part, responsible for keeping his room clean. Um, I did decide to come in here on this day and get his room cleaned up for him. Um, I actually ended up um, not cleaning it completely. Um, I made him go in there the next day and take everything out from underneath his bed because he had trash and clothes and just all kinds of stuff under his bed. He had 
random stuff under his dresser. So the next day we went in, I made him pull everything out, clean under his bed, pulled everything out from his dresser. Um, also emptied all his clothes out of his dresser because none of them were organized or folded. And he just kind of redid his entire room um, and got it back to the condition it needed to be in. So as I'm attempting to clean off the stuff in his dresser, you can kind of see some of the stuff that's underneath it and then the random stuff piled in the two cubbies. Um, all of that had to be gone through and then a lot of the stuff on his desk had to be gone through. Um, but now his room is nice and organized. Um, I bought him a couple of like plastic drawers to put in his closet to help him organize some of that random stuff that he just didn't know what to do with. Another thing that Gabriel had all over his room were little BBs. My uncle had bought him a thing of BBs for his BB gun and him and his brother dumped it out all over his room and I have been picking them up for weeks just all over the house. So once I finish Gabriel's room, I'm going to go ahead and move into their bathroom. Um, once again, I'm just going to clean off the counters, pick up the trash and clean the mirrors. Um, this is another room that you don't frequently see because normally Gabriel cleans their bathroom.
So the last thing I am doing for this day is a load of laundry. I have finally gotten my laundry caught up and I'm able to just do a load of laundry a day and pretty much stay on top of everything. It's a remedy, remedy so that is pretty much it for this video i'm just going to give you a quick look at how things looked when i was done this is pretty much how i like for the house to look when i start the day um, I like everything to be nice and neat and in its place, all the blinds to be open to let some of that sunlight in. And then of course it just kind of gets wrecked throughout the day and I have to continue to clean behind my children pretty much constantly. But that's pretty much it. So I just wanted to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, also, if you would give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Also, make sure you subscribe to my channel and click on that bell so that you get notified whenever I post new videos. I look forward to having you as part of my YouTube family. So thanks again and have a good day. And